Hello, this video is about completing Planet Nansker and campaign on hardest difficulty and all bonus objectives, in the game, 0k. Nansker, this desert planet had one of the greatest mountain ranges in the galaxy, before most of it was flattened by the Empire, as they tracked down fleeing rebels hidden there. Imperial search parties are still there, looking for rebels in what little is left of the range. If I can get rid of them, some rebel holdout may answer to some of my scavenged codes. Who knows, they may still have useful data. Planet Nansker. Main objectives. Destroy the enemy commander and spider factory, protect your commander. Bonus objectives. Have two Cyclops tanks, don't lose any tremors, win by 10 o'clock. L have taken control of a small search party, but only the sturdier tanks are still working. Not ideal for this kind of terrain, especially with the other search party using spiders. Time to take a page from the previous users, and flatten the hills with Tremor Heavy Artillery. Then, I can finish the job with the Super Heavy Cyclops Assault Tank. The Tremor Heavy Artillery is exceptionally inaccurate and will only hit any given unit by chance. On the other hand, it can fairly reliably hit a hill. The Cyclops Super Heavy Assault Tank is even tougher than the Minotaur and also comes equipped with a medium-range slow beam, which should prevent the enemy spiders from escaping to the hills. The Tremor fires seismic shells, which gradually smooth and flatten terrain. Half a minute of force firing at a hill will deprive spiders of a safe hiding place. Terrain modification is only visible in line of sight, so remember to use spotters. This is now the planned section of the video, which I used to complete this planet. The plan consists of two phases, first phase, defense, second phase, attack, first phase. Start of the mission, I built more solar connector to connect the energy grid and provide much needed energy. And produce two cyclops. While waiting for production to finish, I did not expand, but defended the starting area with the tremors and other tanks. Second phase. After production of the cyclops, the enemy commander is usually nearby at the six minute mark. With the commander and tremors, I terraformed a wall to protect them. After the enemy commander is destroyed, with two cyclops follow the red route towards the enemy factory.
Dynasty Arm. Hyperspace-wise, the Dynasty Arm is the most connected of the four. Such connectivity was a boon for trade and commerce, but deprived it from easily defensible redoubts. This made it the wealthiest quadrant of all, but one with many desert worlds, as countless battles hindered or reversed efforts to terraform them throughout history. Both wealth and battles of the ancient days also left it with more archaeotech than any other quadrant. This again was both boon and bane, offering incredible opportunities and terrifying risks alike to those bold enough to unearth those artifacts. It is said that Earth was located somewhere in this quadrant, as well as, more often than not, the base of operations of the ancient, secretive dynasty. As with anything related to them, it is difficult to separate fact from legend. They had openly taken control of the quadrant at the end of the ancient days, but anything more had already been lost to the mists of history.